name is Christopher Marshall. I was uh, born in Alexandria, Virginia. I lived in Silver Spring, Maryland until 2012 and then moved to uh, Dousman, Wisconsin in April 2012. Um, my dad came from a Catholic family and my mom came from a Lutheran family and I think they had a little bit of a tough time uh, deciding uh, which, which path to put me on and so it just never ended up happening that I got baptized or confirmed um, or received any sacraments at all through the Catholic Church. And so um, in college, I met my girlfriend now. Her name is Sarah Schuster, and uh, she, is, she was born and raised in a Catholic family. And uh, we started learning a lot about the Catholic faith together. And we started going to Mass on the weekends, usually Saturday night. And I learned a lot, um, even in those initial um, couple of meetings. Anyways, it was more of a, a gradual growth towards um, becoming Catholic. And... I, don't, I wouldn't say there was a definitive moment, but I think for a lot of my life I felt like there was something missing. Like there was just one part of the, the puzzle missing and um, I decided to go through the RCIA program and that is what brought me to Christ King and uh, ultimately led me to decide to do baptism, confirmation, and uh, become Catholic. Yeah, becoming Catholic has ultimately made me a stronger person because I know that um, God has a plan for everyone. and, and know I don't have to worry about it too much. Receiving the Eucharist for the first time was like a new start essentially and, and I think too I thought of baptism confirmation and receiving my first Eucharist as a fresh start right um, just just a way to become a new person essentially um, and, and learn like what God's love for all of us is like is something that is really hard to describe or put into words. Um, but I think the one word that I thought of pretty commonly was joy. I'm really excited eventually to raise my own family as Catholic. Um, that's kind of my, my plan, right? I think we would all like to do that. Um, I'm also really excited to um, read the gospel because a lot of times like reading the gospel is a great way for me to answer questions or um, provide some sort of confirmation on a trouble that I'm experiencing in my current life, whether it's with work or family or whatever. Um, I can really count on reading the gospel as finding an answer in there. So that's a really exciting thing for someone who previously wasn't sure where to find the right answer. You can Google all you want, but the Bible is 100% better. The first thing that um, I started doing once I was baptized and once I figured out how to do it was praying the rosary. So I try to do this every morning. Uh, I usually do it every morning, but um, some days I miss for whatever reason. But um, I just like to sit in my chair uh, and, and pray the rosary and, and really think through everything that I'm saying as opposed to just like mumbling under my breath. Um, Hail Mary, full of grace. Um, that's one thing that I'm doing, and then I do read the gospel pretty frequently. Um, like I said, at, at times I look to the gospel for the right answer, and at other times I just like to read the daily gospel um, and, and to see if I can connect that to my life, right? And there's usually some connection that I can make. Mm -hmm. And so those are two ways that I'm growing closer to Jesus and the Catholic faith. And I think prayer is, is really important too. And I think <clears throat> my, my prayer really changed over time because you learn how to pray. There's different things you can pray for. Um, and I think initially you start off by like asking for, for help or for you know, guidance or to, to see the light. And then eventually it just becomes like, well, you know, I have a really great life. Like I'm very fortunate to have the parents that I have and um, know the Schuster family as well, and so it transitions to more um, thank you for all of your blessings. Like, I couldn't have done it without you, and I know that I'm a stronger person through you. Um, and so it, it's just it's really great to see how your prayer does change over time because I think a lot of people who are naive to the Catholic faith think, you pray, you pray for something and then your prayers are answered. You pray for a million dollars and you get a million dollars. 
it's not really how it works in my opinion. I think it's to, to be thanking God for his wisdom, his light, and for everything that he's provided you, a, a warm bed to sleep in, food in your refrigerator, um, good friends, good family, all of those things uh, I think people do take for granted. Um, and so I like to, to reiterate that pretty consistently in my prayer is I'm very thankful for everything that I have, even the, the shoes and job that I have now.